Hey y'all, it's me, Cody. Welcome to the Cody Knits Podcast. This is episode something. <laughs> you will already know that because you've read it in the title, um, but I forget. And um, this is Diamond. Yay, the star of the show, aren't ya? <laughs> she knows she's cute. You should do. So, um, I'm Cody, and this is Diamond again. You can find me on Instagram as nurse underscore Cody. That's where I'm most active. I do have a, my Ravelry account is Cody Knits, and there's a podcast group on Ravelry called Cody Knits Podcast. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, on YouTube as the Cody Knits Podcast. So, welcome to all of you who have who keep coming back every couple of weeks um, to sit down and chat with me. Um, it's been a couple of weeks now, and welcome if you this is your first time. I hope you enjoyed the show. I have a lot to cover with you, and um, there's not a whole lot of daylight. So I'm coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, for those of you who do not know. And to this weekend, it's October 13th today, but this weekend is Atlanta Pride. Um, I'm not 100% sure why we don't celebrate Pride in June like everywhere else in the world or in the U.S., um, but this is when we do it. So the parade was this morning, and it has been raining all day, but I went to the parade, and it was a lot of fun. Um, but hence the crazy hair. Hey, baby. No. So, um, it's been a busy couple of weeks. Um, this month has been really busy. Lots going on. Work has been busy. Um, I went to a wedding yesterday. The doctor I work with, her daughter got married and it was a lot of fun. I'm still a little bit hoarse from that. And then all the screaming today at the parade. <laughs> And, yes, Diamond's being distracting. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I have a lot to cover, and I wanted to go through and show you what I've been up to and um, all of that kind of stuff before I left. Because I'm coming up, I'm getting ready to, it's going to be, continue to be busy. Um, but I'm getting ready to go to Seattle, and I'm super excited about that. That's going to be fun. But I'm not going to probably be able to podcast again until uh, November, the beginning of November. So I wanted to sit down and film this while I can, and there's some light coming in. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited. I got lots of fun stuff to show you. So, without th further ado, let's get in. I have some finished objects finally um to share with you so the first ones are these socks um these are my um nothing says to screw you like a rainbow uh socks and i use contrasting heels and toes it's just a vanilla sock um with fish lips kiss heel and I used the umbrella toe from one of Kay Jones uh, from the Bakery Bear, one of her um, sock patterns. I believe the one I typically um, get the, the umbrella toe from, I used to have it written down, but anyway, it's, I, think it, I think her Drippity Drops sock pattern has it in there. And so, um, if, you, if you're interested in the, the, the umbrella toe, um, I would definitely go and check out her, one of her patterns. And they're beautiful patterns, so any, very well written, any of her patterns I would highly, highly recommend. Um, and I love them. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit baggy because I wore them today. <laughs> I put them on here just to show you, but I'm about to put them back on my feet. Um, because it was kind of, it's not cold, I mean it's cool, it hasn't, it's definitely not it feels like fallout, um, finally, and I'm still throwing. <laughs> um, so it's cooling off outside. It feels like fall finally, and it being wet and stuff. Like, I wore a t-shirt and shorts, but I had a raincoat on, um, and then I had 
these socks on. Thought it was appropriate to wear to a pride parade. And yeah, so they were a little baggy, but they fit great. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I finished those. That was exciting. I finished another um, uh, dishcloth in this blue color. It's one of the sugar and cream. Um, so that was one I haven't woven in the ends. And I used the grandma's dishcloth pattern. Let me see if I can. This one. And it has a version with holes and without holes. And it's free. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. These are just fun little, quick little things to knit. I'm trying to knit a lot so I can give them for Christmas gifts. Um, and also, I have a, a crochet finished object. This is another virus shawl. Oh, it's so big. I didn't measure it, but um, it's definitely longer than my wingspan. Um, and I'm 5'8". Um, so, there's that. I used some sweet roll. And I forgot the ball band somewhere. But anyway, uh, they're sweet rolls. It was, it's 100% acrylic. And it's like a self-striping. It's like, um, you know, yarn cakes were super, super popular um, there for a while. And then they have, every, all these people came out with their own little versions. Um, but yeah, I had three uh, little sweet roll things of this. And I used all three balls. Just trying to use up stash. And I think it looks great. Um, this has been washed and blocked. Um, even though it's acrylic, I still block it a little bit. And the reason, especially something like this, and s most people talk, don't think that you should, it does any good to block acrylic. And that has some truth to it to an extent because it's not the same as wool. Wool, when you block it, it really holds that form. Um, the reason I did the acrylic, um, I blocked it, is because of the lacy section. So, um, I could, I just wet it just like you would, and then I laid it out and stretched it and pinned it out to open up, you know, the lacy um, sections to it. So, it didn't necessarily stay the, as stretched out as when I do it it goes back but it does it does allow these um chains and the 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 stitches is what I'm trying to say it does allow those to kind of relax into a place that's you know not all bunched up into one section it, it allows them to you know kind of lay flat next to each other if that makes sense so I I do um uh block certain things with acrylic and if it has just a little bit of wool it it the wool in it does give it a little bit more of that um memory too so it's just kind of up to you but this is probably going to be something i think um will be on my etsy shop um for sale um pretty soon i'll talk more about that in a little bit it's exciting so yeah i finished that I need to cast on another um, something. Did I already show you this as a finished object? I don't think I did. If I did, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't think I did. Um, so anyway, that's finished if it wasn't already finished. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, I'm trying to find another pattern that's similar to this as crochet that's pretty easy like this to memorize or whatnot um because i have a lot of those yarn cakes that i want to use up and this is a great way and people really love the this pattern it's very beautiful um but yeah sometimes it'd be fun to try to find to try something different so that's that i believe that's all the finished objects or discharged projects i have but now I would like to show you what is in progress. My workups. 
Um, so I am, I have cast it on another dishcloth. <laughs> um, so I have that going. Not really much to show, but I've done some. And I just have this bag. I, I think when I first started podcasting, I sent some like a gift package to Aaron at Give Me On 418. And um, <clears throat> there's some cheap fabric or something. And I sent her this and she made me some bags and stuff and sent them to me. And I meant for her to use them for herself um, in her shop, but it was super sweet of her. And anyway, she made me this bag and it's super cute. I love the nautical theme stuff. And anyway, so I just um, put a few different colors in here. So I have the blue I showed you. I have black and orange and purple, different ones in here. So I can just grab from here as I go. And, um, you know, I don't have to carry the huge big bag of acrylic, uh, of uh, dishy yarn that I got. So there's that. Also, since I finished my last socks, <clears throat> and it's in this bag. This is one of my Harry Potter bags. Deathly Hollows symbol. Um, this is from Stitching the High Notes. Um, super cute. I had some pins that I've just put on here. Um, drawstring bag. I love this. Um, but this kind of is a... Um, is a I bought some yarn uh, a haul too um, but this is just part of it so I bought this um, Felici nitpicks Felici and this is the color punky I guess so fun colors, little pastel -y colors. And I um, needed some socks yarn to knit my um, aunt her Christmas socks. I always knit her some socks for Christmas. So um, I cast these on. Again, these are some, uh, some self-striping, but this is the full color repeat here. The purple, blue, they have a green, and then the yellow, orange, and like a salmon-y, pinky. And I'm doing just a Hermione's Everyday um, sock pattern. I wanted to do something besides just straight knitting, but uh, nothing too um, crazy. So, yeah, I am going to um, knit these for her for Christmas. I've been working on those. <clears throat> so I get two balls. This is very soft. Um, if you ever, if you've never used it, um, it's 75% superwash merino uh, wool and 25% nylon, so it's good sock yarn. It's super soft, um, but people say it's not as durable as some other wools, but it is washable and stuff, so I don't have to worry about my aunt um, messing them up in the wash washer and dryer. Um, but yeah, she. She likes, she likes the knitted socks. She's one of those that's like, why would you knit socks? Uh. <clears throat> and then I knit her some and she's like obsessed. So that's what I kind of do for her for Christmas is knit her a pair of socks. And that's coming up. So I thought I'd cast those on. And I've been knitting on my sweater. So excited about this sweater. And it's cooling down outside and it just makes you, it just makes it so exciting to be um, so close to being able to wear the sweater. One of my stitch markers broke off. I need this. I don't know how to do this kind of stuff, but this is um house cup thing. Anyway, this bag is probably from Erin Gimme Yarn 4182, <laughs> her shop. I really like supporting her. She's a great person and she loves animals. <laughs> she has lots of dogs. 
Um, well, I say lots of dogs. Um, she has Dewey the Crafty Chihuahua, and she has some Bernese Mountain Dogs. I think she has two, and then her dad, her father-in-law, um, he has uh, at least, I think he has one. Um, so, yeah, and her partner, Kristen, she's super cool, too, and um, they go on adventures and stuff, but um, their dogs sometimes have uh, a lot of health issues, so I like to kind of help I like to buy stuff from her because I know it really helps out the doggies too. So, cause I know having dogs can be expensive. But look y'all, I have made some good progress. What is this? What, what? It's a sleeve, it's finished. <laughs> I have a sleeve finished. And it is um, just the perfect size. Um, I will say, I'll kind of put it on a little bit, um, that um, the only thing, it's, it's fitted, it fits really great through here. The only thing is, is here, see it's a little baggy here around the wrist. So that's a learning thing for me. I wish um, I would have decreased a few more steps stitches down here probably I mean I don't want it to be super tight but probably around here I would have liked to start started um, decreasing some stitches um, probably probably should decrease about four stitches um, to make it a little bit but most of the time this is gonna be kind of pulled up ooh, I'm trying hard to pulled up like this so it doesn't you don't really I don't really tell um, cause I don't typically, you know, let my sleeve, my cuffs be like that. And this is, I can always, you know, roll it up if I wanted to, but, um, basically I'd be doing it like that. So it doesn't really make that, it doesn't really do that bunching up stuff is that bad, but it may be when I block it, it may, um, lay a little bit flatter too. But I'm super excited about this. Um, and I believe it's just the right size and everything. Oh, it's so soft. So I need to pick up and knit the other sleeve. There's one missing. And then do the neckband. And this beautiful sweater will be done. And this sweater, I always forget the name of it. But let me pull up the thing. It's called Brookings Crew. It's a, a paper pattern Ravelry. I would say um, if you have knit a sweater before, this is a good pattern. I would say if you, this is your first time knitting a sweater, I would try a probably a 10 can knits pattern or something like that first. Um, not that this is extremely difficult, um, but it's like um, like for the for the sleeve, for instance, it just says, you know, you pick up or whatever and then it says decrease every so many till you have so many stitches um and so for a newer person for me even when i've only knit one uh big person sweater um for me even like i was nervous doing that and because i wasn't sure exactly where to do the decreases and i put these because i've seen people you know, you mark them or whatnot. Um, so, sorry, apparently my 20% battery left. Um, but I think if, if I was brand new, uh, newer, trying to knit a sweater and I wasn't really that confident, that would probably throw me off a little bit more. Because at first I had to think about it. And then I just said, you know, just do it and trust the pattern and see. Um, I can always rip back um and redo them if i need to <clears throat> um so i would say you know it's like an intermediate or something like that because well i guess it needs to be classified as a little bit more uh, medium i guess because the cable if you're not comfortable with cables i don't think cables are these cables were necessarily difficult um to do i think they look great um so yeah i 
I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't recommend this as a first time sweater pattern, but it is a good pattern. It's written well. Um, it just doesn't, um, always hold your hand through the whole process. Like it's not going to say knit, um, five rows and then decrease, knit five more rows and then decrease, you know, for your sleeve, for instance. Um, but it's pretty well, you know, laid out. And because it's top down, um, you can pretty much try it on and make sure that it's fitting um, right. The one thing that um, I will, t I did um, learn, is that when you do try it on to see if the, the sleeve length, um, be really careful. Um, the pattern says pretty specifically, knit your arm for this many inches and then do your cuff. <clears throat> and it makes sense because that you, you do it by the inches because when I put it on and I was met and I would I would like put my arm through it I would always pull it so that it was a little bit longer than really it should be instead of making the the armpit be where it was just because the neckline isn't finished yet so it wasn't super you know accurate when I would do that so I was like I had um Manny measure my arm and he was like yeah that's pretty much 19 inches or whatever to there and then you need this many and I was like okay so if that's this is 19 inches or 20 inches and then I do three more inches of rib it's going to come to where you know and, and does that make sense for where the cuff should hit you um, but that's the only thing I would I would say because that could have made me um, knit the sleeves too short anyway I've really been enjoying this I love how it looks um yeah it's been a lot of fun and i'm using um malabrigo rios in the cyan color and so i have this much <laughs> and this much and one more hank left so I'm thinking I sh should be able I may have to open this for the um, neck band but I'm not sure I'm gonna see how much of the sleeve I can get done and I can I think I can at least get this next other sleeve done with that but um, we'll see I might have to dive in but shouldn't take more than that and it better not because this is all half <laughs> um, but yeah once I switched in and started doing the sleeve in um, magic loop it really made it go by a lot faster for me so yeah a lot of fun and then um one more thing i've been knitting on is um this little shawl it's called the telluride shawlette so what it'll look like it is a little um, uh, gift that Kirby gave me. And this is classic elite yarns, Telluride. Who would have thunk it? This is 82% super fine alpaca, 12% linen, and 6% Donegal. And it's super soft and it's kind of tweedy um, color. Sorry, the, the lighting's kind of pooey. Um, I'm holding this in my fringe supply co bag. I love this bag. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I was playing a little bit of yarn chicken. I was knitting this this morning when I first woke up. I was playing a, I played yarn chicken and, um, I won. I put it on Instagram. If you follow me there, I had this much left over at the end of the row. Oh, super <laughs> excited. Yeah. Um, and so now I'm on, there, it come, the kit came with two balls and, um, I'm on, I just started the second, um, second one. Last time you saw it, I was here. So I've knit all the way, all this stuff in between. That needs to be blocked. You can't really tell a whole lot with it, but yeah, I've been enjoying that. It's, I'm using my, um, interchangeable set. It's the Lika or Lika needles that I have and... Um, the, 
the cord is kind of getting on my nerves. I'm not a fan of the cords um, all that much. Maybe if I could soften them up some. <clears throat> I don't know. Some people like boil them a little bit. Um, and the needles are pretty good. They're slick. Um, they're they're pretty. Um, I would like for them to be a little bit more pointy, but these are it's it's working fine. I wouldn't want to use these for something super lacy where you had to do a whole lot of, um, you know, lacy stuff. Um, but it's it's great for this project, so um, I wouldn't like change it up or anything. <clears throat> I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Well, it's cold. Let me get a sip of water. I shall. Like I said, my throat is um, still kind of scratchy from last night at the um, the wedding. We had a really good time. Let's just put it that way. I pulled out all my white boy dance moves, <laughs> apparently. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so I mentioned I bought some yarn. So I bought those socks that, and I bought one more other um, nitpicks Felici. I bought this colorway. I thought these were nice. Not sure if I will knit these for someone or for myself, but, um, they had like a little sale, so I just, I bought a couple. Um, and this is, again, the nitpicks Felici, and this is the, it's called Sally. So, and then I got these, um, little llama pins. How cute. I got two. I got one for Kirby for Christmas. So hopefully she doesn't watch this. <laughs> um, she's super busy. She doesn't watch many podcasts. But, um, so I don't think she's watching my podcast lately. But anyway, I got her one to put with her Christmas present. They were like, they were uh, a sale on those too. So, yeah. Also, I got one more thing in the mail. And it was my knit crate. Yay! It came in a box this time. So, this knit crate, I thought the yarn is really nice. But I was greedy and I kept the last one. But this one is going to be for you. One of you. <laughs> I can't give one to everybody. I wish I could. But I don't have that kind of money. Um, but yeah, I decided that I was greedy and I kept my last one. And I thought this was really nice and someone would really enjoy it. So, let's open it up and let me show you what's in it. So, I do a... Uh, you can be specific about what kind of yarns you want. I kind of do like a surprise me kind of thing. And this is what was included in it. That's pretty accurate colors. They're like... It's like this um, greeny yellow color. And it looks like it's, I think it's called chain plaid. I'm not sure. I don't want to lie to you. The yarn is called Vid Vidalana. Probably said that wrong. <laughs> um, Vidalana Ascendance. Uh, the colorway is called Ancient Ruin. And it's 100% pure uh, fine Peruvian Highland wool. Uh, sport weight, there's 328 yards or 300 meters and 100 grams. And there's two of them. So plenty to make a nice thing with. And it comes with this cute little um, uh, stitch marker <clears throat> or progress keeper. And it kind of has like that, like an Aztec y. Um, kind of design on it sorry you can't really see it very good but you're gonna get that and I will also include the uh, little booklet that has the pattern and this uh, pattern for this shawl is included using this yarn thought it was very beautiful um, so in case that's something you'd like to do um, see if it tells me anything else in here I 
there is a knit pattern in here too. Uh, knit and crochet. There's a couple. So whether you knit or crochet, you have something you can do here. So yeah, I'm going to give this away. And how are you going to enter to win this? And what I will say is... Um, I will, it'll be an Instagram, I mean, it'll be a YouTube giveaway. So, meaning that what I'll have you do is um, comment below the video. And what I want you to comment about is, um, is, Let me know. I've been thinking about some things for the podcast I thought would be kind of fun, but I don't want to have a whole lot of pressure for the podcast because um, I want to keep it fun and not like overwhelming for me. But I was thinking about doing um, a little uh, thing for like a subscription thing. Maybe not a Patreon. Maybe Patreon would be the easiest way, but basically a way to if you would like to support the podcast um you can and when supporting the podcast means that um so you donate whatever i set the thing at or whatever and it give you a little bit more access to some more private things um like a facebook group i thought would be fun um also maybe uh you get a discount code to my etsy shop or um with that and let's see what else. maybe i would do some like live um chats uh or knit night kind of things if i can figure out how to do that um i would do a little bit more vlogging um and that would be just for people who um are either I don't know if how I want to do it, Patreon or whatnot. So I'm throwing that out there, and the the what I'm gonna be using, whatever money I do get from that, is mostly to um, sorry the phone rang, um, mostly to like make hats and things like that for my patients, or it will be to buy um, continue being able to do things like the knit crate and buy things for the giveaway to give to do giveaways and maybe. Um, the people who do subscribe, they're more, uh, I'll have more giveaways for those people and things like that. So I'm, I have lots of little things like that in my head I thought would be fun. I just know there's a lot of people who would like to help and they, like, I've gotten so many hats which I need to grab and show you and things like that and I'm, people really have you know, shown a lot of interest in that. And, but I know it's a lot of work to knit the hats and things like that. And, um, one of the things I want to do is get a, um, Addy hat machine so I can, you know, really crank up some hats and get some friends who may not knit, but they could help me out. So that would help with that and buy yarn support for that and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, donate those to charity, um, mostly the cancer patients. So if that's something you would be interested in, if you would be, if, uh, if you have uh, suggestions for that, um, if you think it's rubbish, <laughs> I like saying that even though we don't say that here, but <laughs> I think it's fun. Um, if even if, you know, you think it's like not really a good idea or not anything you would be interested in or whatever, um, just let me know. That's all you have to do is comment below, answering that kind of thing, giving your thoughts, feedback, ideas, whatnot. Um, yeah. So that's all you have to do. And I will pick like randomly. I will number, I will number the, uh, I will order the, the comments. Um, and I will do a random number generator based on the comment number. I'll get, assign every comment a number. Um, so try to only comment once if you can. <laughs> Um, if you can't, then it's fine. I mean, if for some reason you do two times or whatever, it's fine. I'll figure it out, um, when I go through. But yeah, I think that would be a fun thing to, um, get some feedback from you guys. I just want to make this fun and that kind of stuff and not put pressure on any of us. Um, I'm, I really enjoy doing this. I enjoy interacting with you guys. 
um, and that kind of stuff. But I just kind of, like I said, I want to make it fun, but I want to be able to do more. And I know a lot of you guys have been very supportive and have been helping um, and have expressed interest in helping in other ways. And that's really the only other way um, I can think of. So let me know if you have any other thoughts or ideas. Maybe that's something I'll start in, in the new year. I'm thinking about doing like Vlogmas and um, recording, you know, a little vlog at Christmas every day up until Christmas or something like that too. So I think that'd be fun. So yeah, um, there's that. So I want to go and grab, I got lots of hats. I want to go grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know if you noticed, <laughs> but let's see. These came from Jimmy and I wanted to share those. It's not food, diamond, it's hats, <laughs> but he sent some really cute hats. Look, these are really cute. So a couple of those. Ooh, that one's fun. Fun little pattern. That's cute. I like the way that looks. Fun colors. There's another blue. This is super soft. So he sent those. So every one of these, again, every hat gets entered into the, gives you an entry into the uh, prize drawing for that. There's still time. So if you still haven't sent yours or you have a hat you wanna send, um, just send me a message on Instagram is the quickest way um, to get my attention and get over. If you do go to the Ravelry group and you look at a past, one of the past hat knit alongs, there is the, um, P.O. Box is their address there, too. But if you send me a message on Instagram, I'm pretty quick to respond to Instagram. At least check it, usually at least once a day. Um, so, yeah, there's um, there's that. But, again, I will uh, keep it open until I record my next podcast. I will check the mail one last time. Um, and what I have then is going to be, you're eligible for the um, prizes. So these came from Miss Cruz, I'll say. So you know who you are. These are some nice thick hats. Look how pretty. I love that stripe. These stripes, pretty colors. These colors. And this one. That's fun, little bubbles. And there's a fun little card in there. I would like to show you the front. It was sweet what you wrote inside. <laughs> and absolutely, they're okay. Um, so yeah, those will be entered into for the giveaway. And all of these will be going. Again, I give these away to my patients. I don't sell them to them or anything like that they are given away and they get to just pick what they want and love them and wear them and keep their little bald heads warm <laughs> um i got another one this one is from jennifer try not to say your last name and stuff in case you don't want to know but i try to tell you who you are so you know that I got it, if that makes sense. Because I don't really know everyone's, like, rivalry stuff. Or This one had a cute little card I wanted to show you. Another little owl. These fun hats are all different sizes. Ooh, that's fun. 
I love it. People are really getting creative and using up their scraps. Making all different sizes. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> There's those. This one has a cool one in there, too. I really thought it was a fun pattern. Look, that's cool. A little cable pattern. I love this little pattern in there. I think it's just... Oh, I can't tell if it's some slip stitches or if it's some color work. I think it's some color work. Though. Yeah, really cute. Really fun, nice cream, and the stripes. Oh, I love this. These are nice, thank you so much. Remember, uh, again, every hat gets entered into, gives you a, a drawing. And there. These are from Cynthia. Look how beautiful this hat is. Very impressive. <laughs> and um, even the inside is beautiful. Great work. That's very kind of you to give that hat away. That's a lot of work into that hat. It's beautiful. And this one, look. This one's super soft. This one's very fally, pumpkin-y. So, thank you, Cynthia. And she um, included little labels for them. I like to uh, make sure they have, the hats have a label so the patients know um, if they have something they may be sensitive to or whatnot. And one more, I got, try not to show people's um, addresses. Hope I didn't. This one. I believe you say your name is Royleen. <laughs> Sorry. People walking outside. Hopefully I said your name right. Sorry if I didn't. <laughs> Tammy. There you go. That's how you <laughs> signed your, um, the note. <laughs> so these are from Tim. And it was super, very cute package. So cute. Look. Um, look how cute this little label is. These are crochet, I believe. Crochet. This one's knit. Ooh, very soft. Hopium. I think she made up the pattern. It says, cute pattern. So that's fun. Look at this. See, this is when pooling is cool. Look how cool that is. <laughs> very nice. And how cute is this? Look at the little tassels. I love that. Colors there. And last but not least. I can't tell if this is crochet or knitted. I think it's knit, but I'm not sure. Very nice. I love the stripes. So thank you all again so much. Thank you for um, to everyone who's already donated. And um, this is super exciting. There's so many hats. I got so excited when I went to the post office and I found all these, had all these packages. It's so fun. And it's super generous of you all. Sorry for the crinkly, but I wanna keep everybody's um, things together. But it's super generous and it's greatly appreciated. One last thing I wanted to show you and talk to you about. I've mentioned the um, thingy-ma-dodger. The Etsy shop. Quite a, a couple of times 
and um, I'm, it's going to be opening back up again. Probably, um, I have some things in there now. I'll go ahead and, um, the shop's been in vacation mode. I'll take it off vacation mode, but I've been doing a lot of uh, sewing lately, and I've been enjoying it. So I wanted to show you a couple of little sneak peeks of some things I've been working on. So I finished this, so this will go in there. So this is a zipper pouch. Um, so that will be going in there. But I've been working on a couple of, they're kind of um, holiday, winter themed. So this is one. I think this is so cute. A little deer. It's a window bag. This is a um, medium size drawstring bag. So we have that. Um, so I have a couple like this, and then I also had um, some little gingerbread men, and they have that cute little uh, tree in there. So I'm getting better with my top stitching. So this has been fun. But yeah, I have quite a few of those. I have um, a couple medium size in this. So this one has green with red um, pulls and this one has red with green pulls. So just been having fun and I wanted to um, get these in the shop. And um, in time so you could get them for, if you wanted from for Christmas or whatnot. So I'm thinking the beginning of November, I'll have those in and ready for you. So I've been working really hard um, but enjoying it um, a lot, so I'm not complaining one bit, but um, yeah, super fun. And these, I don't think you can tell, but they're sparkles. <laughs> there you go. See, they're sparkly. And th this one has sparkles too. Let me get it closer so you can see. It's sparkly, so it looks like it's snowing. I just think this is so beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I will be having those in there. Um, in the shop and I want to kind of give you a little sneak peek So a couple things that's gonna be in there coming up as soon. So keep your eye out for that and The Etsy shop is the number two and then die D-Y-E and then the number four and then arts A-R-T-S on Etsy So very excited about all of that, but if you can take a look in there um, probably uh, by the time I get this uploaded um, or whatnot, I should have um, the other, the things that are in the shop already, uh, I'll have the shop off holiday mode, um, most likely. Well, maybe I should wait till I get back from Seattle, because if you order something while I'm in Seattle, I won't get it shipped out to you. I'll just wait. So there'll be some stuff in there <laughs> for you. Um, different things so yeah I'll just wait and have that um, open everything when I get back from Seattle so about November and there'll be Christmas bags or holiday bags in there um, for you guys as well so very excited someone um, needs to go potty <laughs> so I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go and take her um, outside and let her potty while there's a break from the rain and work on getting this uploaded and whatnot. Um, I hope you have all been doing well. I'm sorry if that was very rushed and such, but I only have so much daylight and I wanted to get this recorded. I had so much stuff I wanted to share with you. I was super excited, couldn't wait. Couldn't wait till I got back to see it, got back from Seattle. Um, I'm gonna try to do some vlogging while I'm in Seattle, so um, you may see that um, as well, so. Right? Yeah. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having lots of fun knitting um, and lots of knitting time and relaxing and that it's not uh, super hot where you're at. <laughs> Unless you want it to be. <laughs> it's been so hot here, but it's cooled down, finally fall. Super excited. Anyway, I'm gonna go so she is happy keep her happy happy dog happy life <laughs> anyway <laughs> i'll talk to you all later bye tell them hi say bye say bye oh goodbye goodbye
Bye. <laughs>